Hey what's up guys, KSK Ryle here and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Android Oreo unofficial on MIA1. Without wasting any time, let's get started. Alright, so before jumping into the main process of this video, I would like to tell you a few things to remain. So make sure that you need to back up all of your important information, your pictures, videos, and back up all of your important information to your computer or SD card. This process will going to be completely wipe everything. I'm not responsible if anything goes wrong. Once you're ready and go to the uh, system settings, click on the about phone and tap on the bill number as uh, seven times until you see you are and now a developer. Now go back to the main page of the settings here. You're going to find the option called the developer options. So right inside that you need to enable the OEM unlocking. So first we're going to be unlock the bootloader then we will be able to restore the Android Oreo backup onto this device so then also you need to under the debugging you need to enable this option called the USB debugging go ahead and click on OK so once you tap on OK so make sure that you need to connect your computer using the USB cable and take that USB cable and hook it up to your phone now on your phone now what we can do is when you connect it you're we're gonna see this message called allow USB debugging then click on OK so now I'm going back to the computer view. On the computer, you need to download a couple of files and you will find all of the links in the description down below. So download all of the files and place it on your desktop. So as you can see, I have downloaded the, these two files. So the one is the platform tools, another one is the Android Oreo TWRP backup. So there we go. These are the two files that you need to download and you need to paste it on your desktop. So go ahead and extract these two files. Right, so once you extract all of these files, so now you need to go ahead and open the tools folder, which is where you're going to find all of the commands like fastboot, at ADB command, as well as a TWRP recovery. So as you can see, all of the files are there. So now what we're going to do is on the Windows Explorer, you need to click on the address bar on the top to highlight the address of this location of the files. Go ahead and highlight this and right click and then copy this address. I'm going to go ahead and close this window. Now go ahead and open the run dialog box and then type CMD which stands for command prompt. Here you can type the command called CD and then paste that location. So this will going to be changed directly to that uh, location which is where the computer can find all of the uh, commands as well as a recovery file. So as you can see if I type the DIR it's going to show all of the contents on that particular directory ADB fastboot as well as the recovery.img. So once you see all of these files and we are good to go. Now here, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to first copy the uh, Android Oreo backup to the MIA one. For this, first let me go ahead and clear the console by typing the CLS. So and then here you can type the command called the ADB devices. So if you type the ADB devices, it's going to be returned with a reference number which looks like this. So go ahead and highlight that and then press a return key on the on your computer keyboard this will going to be copy that reference number this is a very very important and then go ahead and close that just in case if you don't see and make sure that you have connected to the a proper or the rare usb ports of your computer now back to the desktop on your desktop you need to create a new folder and right inside that you can create another folder called twrp so all of the letters are in uppercase and right inside that you can create another folder called the backups all right, inside that you're going to create another folder it's sort of like a, you're creating the file hierarchy all right so I'm gonna go ahead and paste that reference number that we just copied and right inside that we need to uh, copy the Android Oreo backup that we have extracted at the beginning of this video so go ahead and I copy this backup by right clicking on that uh, file or folder and then copy on that and paste it here all right, so once you paste this and we need to uh, take this file hierarchy and we need to copy it to our MI A1 device. So go ahead and do that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this dialog box. I'm going to simply right click on the TWRP, arc, sorry, TWRP file hierarchy, click on copy. And then if I click on the MI A1 and then you can paste it on either internal or external SD card. Now we have copied successfully and you can see uh, the TWRP backup based on Android Warrior is there. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open uh, the command prompt back again. Here what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the command again called ADB devices to ensure that de device is still connected to the computer. And there we go, it's showing the reference number that is connected to the computer. 
Now here you can type the command called ADB reboot bootloader. This will gonna be boot your device into the fast boot mode. Also you can do by holding the power down as well as the, sorry, also you can do by holding the volume down by holding the power that's gonna be taking you to the fast boot mode. So when you are inside the fast boot mode you can type the command called the fast boot devices. Again this is gonna show you this reference number that means your device is connected properly. Now, here we're going to flash this recreate.img. But first, what we're going to do is we need to unlock the bootloader. For this, type fastboot OEM and then type unlock. And then press return key. It's going to say, okay, if we see any kind of message like failed, make sure that you need to, uh, you have connected your device to the proper USB port of your computer. Now here, you're going to type the command called fastboot boot recovery.img. So this will going to be a boot your MIA1 into the a TWRP recovery mode. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now as you can see, when you see the TWRP recovery mode, go ahead and take off your USB cable. And then right inside this uh, TWRP recovery, the first thing what you're going to do is going to click on the wipe. Once you tap on the wipe, click on the advanced wipe and then you need to select the one of the three partitions like Delvic partition, system partition as well as a data partition. So select all of these partitions and swipe to wipe. So make sure that you have backed up all of the important information and everything will be gone if you don't back up your data. So then click on the restore and then choose to select the storage. I have in this case I have copied the Android Oreo backup into the internal storage. So as you can see it's detected right there and then simply select that and then swipe to restore. It's going to be take a couple of minutes. It's going to be a restore uh, your MIA1 to the Android Oreo beta. So please leave your device, uh, do not disturb your device and then let it complete the process. All right, so once it's done, uh, what we're going to do is you need to click on the reboot system and this will going to be boot your MIA1 into the Android Oreo. All right, so th there we go. It's successfully booted. And if you get any problems, and do let me know in my Facebook page. I will try to solve your problems. And there we go. We have successfully installed Android Oreo on MIA1. So that's how you can install it on your device. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also, if you have any suggestions for any future videos, do let me know in the comment section down below. That's it. And thank you so much for watching. This is your host, KSK Ryle, signing off. Bye-bye now.